Welcome to the first video in a series of videos on how to learn footbag. My name is Phil Morrison, aka The Red Rocket, and this is going to be all about learning the basic footbag kicks. And what you want to be aware of when learning the basic kicks is when kicking with any part of the body, a key point is to make sure the surface that you're kicking with is as flat as possible, and the only time that it shouldn't be is when you're trying to pass the bag to someone else. Uh, the main areas that we're going to learn are the knee bump, the toe kick, the inside kick, and the outside kick. Once you master all these surfaces, it shouldn't matter where the bag is around the body, you should be able to control it. When we're learning any new trick, it's always a good idea to start by throwing the bag from a small height, hitting it once, then catching it again. Uh, what this does is it gives you a chance to repeat the trick over and over again with good form, rather than kicking it away and always lunging for it. And once you get a good idea of how to do the trick, you can go for two times in a row and so on. Uh, also, don't forget to learn to do tricks both sides, or else you'll be missing out on a lot of cool tricks in the future. The knee bump. Start by throwing the bag just above the knee. As it's coming back down, bring your knee up nice and quickly to strike the bag, sending it back up in the air. Make sure when you hit the bag, you want your knee to be as flat as possible. And you also want to try and hit the bag right in the centre of the uh, top of the leg, so it goes straight up rather than out to the side. The toe kick. Start by throwing the bag just above waist height. As it's in the air, bring the knee up slightly, and as the bag gets towards the foot, you want to flick your leg out quickly, striking the bag, trying to get it right in the middle of the toe. You need to do this quite quickly to send the bag up a reasonable height in the air, and you also want to keep your ankle quite relaxed, so when you flick at the bag, your toes curl back towards you, so the bag goes straight up rather than out forwards or out to the side. The inside kick. Start by throwing the bag just above waist height, nice and close to the body. As the bag's on the way back down, bring the inside of your foot up to strike the bag back up in the air. You're trying to hit the bag right in the middle of the foot, and generally you should hit the bag just in front of the supporting leg. A couple of good tips to help make the inside surface as flat as possible is as you bring your foot up, you want to rotate your knees outwards and also push your toes into the bottom of your shoe and this will help make your foot nice and flat and keep your ankle flexed. The outside kick. Start by throwing the bag just above waist height. As the bag is coming down, raise the outside of your foot up to strike the bag back up in the air. Think about this one as the reverse of the inside kick. So as you hit the bag, you're rotating your knee inwards and you're also curling your toe into the top of your shoe rather than the bottom. I also find it a little bit easier learning rather than alternating left and right when you kick the bag. Start by hitting it just with one foot at a time and then once you get better at it, you'll be able to alternate from side to side. And then we put it all together. So once we've learned those basic kicks, then we can start hitting it with different parts of the body depending on where the bag is around the body so we can keep control. Once you get better and better, you should be able to control the bag easier so you can decide which part of the foot you want to hit it with rather than letting the bag decide where you hit it. Quite often a player might have only mastered one surface and if this is the case, it's fine, but you do want to start incorporating other kicks and other hits around that uh, mastered surface. And over time, once you get better at all the other surfaces, you should be able to incorporate them all equally as easily. I hope you've enjoyed this basic introduction to the footbag kicks. The next video I'm going to be making is going to be on the basic delays in footbag. So rather than hit, hitting the bag with different parts of the feet, catching the bag with different parts of the feet instead. And once you can do this, it starts opening up avenues for a lot more complex tricks, and then footbag starts getting really, really fun. Uh, so I'll see you again soon.